like any other kid I imagine anywhere else, I would get up in the morning and go to school and play with my friends and visit family on the weekends and in the afternoons and sort of any normal childhood a person could expect, at least in my mind. And then one morning I woke up, the city was surrounded and you know there were people shooting at us. In April of 1992, the longest siege of a capital city in modern warfare began. Fearing a minority status after the collapse of the Soviet Union, Bosnian Serbian forces attacked Sarajevo with the goal of creating an ethnic state. Electricity was cut off and water was cut off and you just sort of lived in darkness and awaiting the next artillery attack, awaiting the next, you know, um, insurgency. And all of a sudden I, I lost friends and I got to watch my entire class get shelled and my teacher got killed in third grade. Though she had seen the worst of people during the conflict, she also saw the best of people. Her father, injured twice in the conflict trying to help others, was taken to a hospital. There, she saw Doctors Without Borders. I also got to see these physicians and these amazing people that would rush in and risk their lives to save others. So in all that darkness, I got to see the human sacrifice and that life was precious, you know, and we should value every day that we have. In December of 1994, after surviving Bosnian Serbian patrols, she made it out of the city with her family. From Sarajevo to Germany, and finally to Maryland and Luke Air Force Base, Arizona, it's the events there that shaped the rest of her life. The most human kindness uh, from strangers that I've ever seen, um, and it really made an impact on my life. The treatment she received from airmen in Maryland, and the aid her father received in Sarajevo, led her to join the United States Air Force as a family medicine practitioner. I wanted to give back. I wanted to give back to the amazing men and women who helped me and my family. Um, and to be a part of something that great um, is amazing. And it touches my heart and I feel so lucky to do it every day. Whether it's, you know, a history and physical exam that on a healthy person to getting a dad on Skype from his deployment to see his wife and his child be born, to taking care of the guys that have been traumatized and injured, and there is no better job in the world. And as long as I get to do it, I think there won't be a day that I won't wake up not realizing how lucky I am to do it. From growing up in a war-torn country to earning her commission in the Air Force as a medical professional, Captain Marima White's journey is a testament to her resilience. Senior Airman Cody Griffith, Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada.